Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Thank you so much. Hi, Erin. Thank you for your time this morning. Thank you for so, time with me. I know I adore freckles. I know you are tired of hearing that your whole life, but I think they are just the sweetest, the cutest. I always wanted them. I think oh. they're adorable and you are just beautiful. And I'm happy to talk about this role. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm excited to talk to you. Thank you. What would I have... It, First off, the first, how our introduction to you in the back of the truck and you're presumed to be a hostage and then you give us a little, no, I'm not. I'm the one you should really be fearing. Yeah. When you when you start to introduce us to, to your character, Carly, did was that your idea to smile or how did that even the, the reveal come about of who you are and all this kick-assery that's about to take place with you and your team? So it, it wasn't my idea. It was actually in the script um, originally. We kind of, we did a few takes and tried to, oh my God, sorry, my dog's on a mad one. That sounds like my dog, actually. <laughs> it's okay. Brandy, come here. Brandy. Um, we, we had tried it a few different ways, um, but yeah, it was, it was in the script to smile, which I think was a really cool thing. Mm-hmm. I love when characters are underestimated and they turn out to be the ones that you should fear the most. Is that element in this episode, when you looked at the script and prepared to film this portion, this portion of the story, what struck you most about what we just saw in episode two? Um, I think the thing that struck me most is that Bucky just assumed that she was a hostage. I don't know what, I don't know what it was about her that made him think, oh, she's in danger, she's vulnerable. Um, But I like the fact that he was, Jesus, I'm so sorry. I like the fact that he was wrong um, and that she was probably the, the most to fear in that whole situation. Mm-hmm. And when you have a, a show, when you appear in a Marvel show, it's so clouded in, in, in secrecy and to, in order for us as fans to enjoy the story and how it progresses, how difficult is it? You know, you know everything that's going to happen. It's finished, it's in the can, and you have to sit back and watch all of us react to it. What do you do on those days when the episode is new and everyone gets to experience it for the first time? I try and stay away. <laughs> it makes me nervous. I don't know when I feel like everybody is watching it at the same time or I just, I don't know, I try and keep away from it. And then, and then a few hours later, once it's people have started to watch it, then I'll go on my phone and things and see what people are saying. But that initial, like when it drops, I I just get so nervous. I don't know. (laughs) With your, with your, with your group, the, the flag smashers, they're essentially working for a greater, a greater good. They're portrayed to be kind of the, the anti or the antagonist of, of Cap and all the other, or uh, of Falcon and, and, and Bucky and all of the other people who are working for the quote unquote good. Is there a bad side to, to people who are working for what presume it would appears to be equality and, and access and justice for all people? How do you put a negative slant on that? I think it will come out like more so down the line, like as the different episodes air. Um, but, and you'll see, you'll see kind of how the way that she goes about things are maybe a little questionable, but her, her fight and her drive remains pure and good. And it's, and she's super passionate about what she believes in. And essentially it is a good, it is a good cause and it is a good fight. Mm -hmm. In addition to the, the story, and there's a lot of nuance and a lot of things that are usually missing from, from stories, particularly for black people, when you look at the, the story and how it's unfolding and the nuances given to, to, to Falcon and what he's experiencing, we haven't dived into that of what it could mean for your character. Uh, You are like an active person. When you see the scenes that you're not in, for instance, uh, in the first episode with Falcon being denied access to a loan, and then this, you know, they're trying to figure out how to approach your team. How do you react to that? As, as a biracial woman and seeing this representation in these stories? I think it's so important. And I think it's, 
it's great that Marvel are tackling these issues and showing these issues because they're real and people go through this every single day. And I feel like it would be so easy for them not to address it. It would be so easy because there's so many other things going on. Um, all these massive fight scenes and literal aliens and all of lots of different things happening, but um, they do address it and they do tackle it and and they show how relevant it is in the Marvel universe, just as relevant it is in real life, you know? Um, and it's important for people who aren't people of color to understand that this is still happening, you know? Mm -hmm. There is a lot of work that goes into this, but for your character in particular, not even just the dialogue and working with your, with your co-stars, but just the acrobatics, the stunt work. What was that experience like for you and did you get to learn some new things or were all, some of these skills already part of your repertoire? Uh, no, they weren't part of my repertoire at all. Everything was uh, very new to me. Um, it was great. It was really intense. It was a lot of training. Um, and we did like a lot of boxing and a lot of parkour and agility and speed and things like that. Um, but it was so fun. It was a lot of hard work. And I did have a stunt double as well who uh, made me <laughs> made me look really cool. Um, but I did as much as I could do. Mm -hmm. yeah. As you waited for your series begin, WandaVision preceded this one, and you all got to see a front row seat of what it's like to have the show scrutinized and the Easter eggs and the fan reactions and the discourse. As you wait for your show to be seen, do you all text each other and think, well, wait till they see this? Or do you think they'll <laughs> catch this? Have you had those types of discussions amongst each other, given yeah. the, the scrutiny that was on the first Marvel series and now moving into this one? We actually have a, a group chat, me and the Flag Smashers, <laughs> um, have a group chat and we text in that all the time about new episodes that are coming and, and what people should be looking forward to. Or like, if they're thinking about this, that like somebody will put up, a theory in there and one of us will reply like so wrong or they're so close or something like that so yeah we talk about it okay wait so wait do you guys have burner accounts do you ever go on some of these conspiracy theorists and comment in anonymity like in a secret account go that's not correct that's no, not I right don't. i don't maybe they do maybe they have little burner accounts i don't know but i definitely don't <laughs> And lastly, we are two episodes in. We have four more, I believe, four or five more. What is, without disclosing anything, because I don't want to get you fired, what will Carly's journey be like, would you say, in, in three words? Ooh, okay. Um, oh my God, there's so much happens. It's so difficult to narrow it down to three words. But what I will say is that there's lots of twists and turns and moments where you'll think it's going to go one way and then it'll go the other way or vice versa. Um, and so pre be prepared for lots of lots of twists and turns, I'd say. Well, I'm excited that the ride through the Marvel Universe is never a boring one. And <laughs> it's a pleasure to see you part of it. Thank you so much for your time. I'm very excited to see what the Flag Smashers will be and the, the fan reaction. And I just appreciate you talking to me today. Oh, thank you so much. No, it's been a it's been nice talking to you. Have a wonderful day. You too. Bye. Yeah. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.